I request Shri S. S. Rathor, President elect IEI, to speak few words. I am extremely honored to be amidst a galaxy of distinguished dignitaries, leaders of the engineering profession, doyens of academic and R&D world, and captains of industry who have gathered here for the inauguration of the 27th Indian Engineering Congress. Today we are indeed very fortunate to have amidst us our respected Rashtrapati ji, Sri Pranab Mukherjee, who has honored the engineering community with his gracious presence to bless us through his words of wisdom and exhortation. We are also thankful to the several dignitaries, friends and well-wishers who despite their preoccupation have assembled here. This is a positive indication of the love and affection they all bear for the profession we are all committed to. The Institution of Engineers India is one of the largest professional bodies incorporated under the Royal Charter and has emerged as the largest multidisciplinary association of engineers in the world. It provides engineers a global platform to share their professional experiences and to regulate the profession. It also has the distinction of producing the maximum number of engineers in the core engineering disciplines, thus augmenting the nation building process. The, institute, the institution headquartered at Kolkata conducts its business through 106 centers across the country and through its overseas chapters that have been established in countries with substantial Indian engineering population. While all are aware of the engineering community's contribution to research and development, I take pride in sharing some statistics with our respected and beloved Rashtrapati ji and the August audience here. Over 70% of business leaders across MSMEs and large industries come from the Indian engineering community. While contributing to the nation building process by strengthening the Indian economy, the engineering community's contribution to administration is growing with increasing number of engineers entering the Indian civil services and electing to serve as citizens' representatives in the various state assemblies and in the Indian Parliament. I see the responsibility of IEI towards nation building only increasing in the coming days, and we pledge to dedicate ourselves to effectively address nation building challenges by proposing viable and effective technological solutions. Development at the cost of environment is not sustainable. Development without benefiting the poorest may not be sustainable. And for growth to be sustainable, it has to be inclusive. This is the crux of lessons learned by the world based on experience documented in several studies and research papers. Engineers have a key role to play in making this happen, not only by innovating newer methods of doing work at the least cost, and by consuming the least amount of exhaustible material, natural resources, <coughs> but also, <coughs> excuse me, but also by influencing, uh, influencing policy making, such that the policies favor green and inclusive growth. One of the important measures in this regard would be to adopt improved indicators of performance, which measure not only the economic growth in GDP but also the dimensions of green and inclusiveness in growth. Colleagues who are in the civil services or who elected representatives would have a key role to play in this. We feel that the need as of now is quick, decisive, and fearless policy making to take the country to the very top. As I conclude, I wish to state during this August occasion that making a India a hub of innovation and ushering in a knowledge economy would be the major endeavor of IEI. Let us make 20th, 21st century India known for its engineering excellence and achievements. Thank you, Jayant. Now I also request Sri S.L. Garg, President IEI, to speak few words. The annual Congress coincides with the launch of 12th five-year plan which lays emphasis on property, poverty alleviation, 
uplift of weaker section and foster sustainable inclusive growth keeping that in view the theme of the indian engineering congress has also been aligned with the national perspective and therefore focuses on the engineering inputs for sustainable development and inclusive growth ladies and gentlemen on this occasion i on behalf of all members of iei pay my humble respect to the honorable president shri pranam mukherjee who by his exemplary service selfless dedication and mighty professional acumen not only enriched the nation but also helped india to unfold immense treasure by judicious applications of both natural and human resources the economic reforms started 21 years back has brought around an appreciable change in economic development in the country the humble the honorable president as union minister has played a key role in making this growth inclusive and benefits spreading to the common man consider consid consideration of the latest figures of growth in some of the so called we weaker states gives a fair idea of the fact that it has taken time but the benefits of economic growth have percolated down to the poorest man the institution of engineers is today the president of the fiasca and the chairman of the committee on innovative technologies of wfo and chairman of the committee on information technology of fiap so this year we have adopted the theme of indian engineering congress as engineering for sustainable development and inclusive growth vision 2025 the deliberations during the engineering congress will brainstorm on engineering for sustainable development and provide future road map to the engineering fraternity in india generation of employment livelihood opportunity poverty reduction removal of regional and social disparities agriculture and industrial growth and environmental sustainability are key elements of inclusive growth inclusive growth is a strategy so that the benefit reach the largest section of the society and the maximum number of people are able to drive the benefits for the from the development projects as just stated by shri rathor development without benefiting the poorest may not be sustainable and inclusive father of the nation mahatma gandhi preached us quote recall the face of the poorest and the weakest man whom you have seen and ask yourself if the steps you contemplate are going to be any use to him will he gain anything by it will it restore to him control of his own life and destiny unquote we the engineers have a greater role to play in this contest to fulfill the dream dream of the father of the nation i once again wel welcome our rashtrapati ji to this engineering congress and seek his blessings for the relentless efforts of the institution of engineers to serve the common man in india in particular and the humanity in general jai hind i request shri s l garg president iei to present the first copy of souvenir and iei publications titled advancement of engineering in new millennium to respected rashtrapati shri pranab mukherjee this is the first copy of the souvenir presented to respected rashtrapati <laughs> 